Hey everybody, it's Craig Victor here. Thanks so much for all your positive feedback and questions throughout this video series. I'm excited to release video three, and in this video, I'm gonna walk you through a simple two light setup that you can use for shooting full body fashion or small groups. We'll also quickly go over the inverse square law, and I'll also reveal more details how you can access my new interactive video training site, Shutterslam Insiders. All right, let's get to the lighting setup in this first series of shots. All right, for the next series of shots, I'm using a two light setup. Now my key light, or my main light, is a 60 inch Fotex soft lighter. And I have that positioned camera left, and it's about 45 degrees away in that direction, and it's about eight feet away. And then my hair lighter rim light is a medium strip bank with two layers of diffusion and a grid for more control, and that's positioned 45 degrees aft. So watch for that in the video segment. Now this is about eight feet away, and then as we go through the video, I'm gonna move the modifier further back so you can see the effect that it has at a further distance. So I'm just sort of focusing on the closest eye and then repositioning. And I'm leaving enough room for cropping in post. Perfect. Okay. That's a good shot right there. Perfect. Chin down just a touch? Great. Okay. So I'm just adjusting my position a little bit. Okay. Yeah, maybe try turning your body towards the light now. So for, like direct towards the light. Yeah, and we'll work this angle. Perfect. Okay, great. So I'm shooting at f8 now, shutter speed 200, ISO 100, and we have a hair light on the back, and that's at about 5.6. And we've got the Fotex soft lighter, which is a 60 inch umbrella. And then we're gonna switch it up and bring in the seven foot silver parabolic. Perfect, you're doing awesome, looks great. Cool. And I'm just varying my height a little bit here. So it gives her a little bit more power if I'm lower, but I wanna make sure I have Shots at different angles. Okay, perfect. Okay, a couple more, and then we'll switch to the seven foot silver parabolic. Perfect. That's great. All right, for this first series of shots, I'm using the Westcott seven foot silver parabolic umbrella as a key light, and it's positioned this way, 45 degrees, which would be camera left. You'll see that in the next video. And then I'm using the strip bank, and it has two layers of diffusion, and a grid, and I'm using that aft on a 45 degree angle, and watch for that in the next video. And then in the first series of shots, I have this at about eight feet away, and then we'll take a break, and we'll talk about the inverse square law, and then in the second series, I'll move it back to 10 feet away, and you'll see that it's less steep of a fall off, so watch for that on the legs. All right, let's get to the live shoot. Perfect. Awesome, one more. Oh, that's awesome. Hold that there. Okay, great. In this video, I'm going to quickly go over the inverse square law. Now, you don't really need to know the mathematic formula, just how it works. Now, behind me, we have what's supposed to be a seven-foot umbrella. Now, you can see at the one-foot mark, so one foot away from the light, the light is reading at 100%. Now, as we move two feet away from the light, that light power drops to 25%. And then as we move three feet, it drops to 11%, four feet, 6%, and then we go to 5 feet, 4%, and 3%. Now, where this comes in handy is that you know now, the further the light spreads, the slower the fall off. So that means light in close falls off fast. So if you want less of a fall off, you move your light further back. So that's good for shooting full body or small groups. Okay, perfect, yeah, so same things, just think about those angles. Okay, so we're back, Brittany's done a wardrobe change. And we've moved the light back a little bit, so the fall off on her legs is going to be uh, even less steep. So we should get more full body light. So more illumination on her legs than we did in the previous few shots. Okay, great. Awesome. And so we do have a backlight as well for a hair lighter for separation. And that's a little bit lower. It's probably between f4 and f5.6. And then I'm gonna vary the height of my shots a little bit just so I can get a different effect. Okay, perfect. 
Okay, great. Okay. A little more separation with your left arm, so, uh, yeah, so a little more like triangles there. And maybe your body more 45 away from the light. Yeah, and then bring your, oh, perfect, yeah, okay. So I can see a gap on your left side as well. Chin down to touch. Perfect, that's great. Okay, let's just sort of work this shot here. Awesome. Great. Okay, let's get your hair involved now. Maybe just sort of, we're near the end of the shoot so we can mess up your hair a bit now. Okay, perfect. Great. Cool, I like these angles in your arms, perfect. Okay, more body 45 away from the light again. Just a bit perfect, yeah. Great, yeah. Okay, perfect. I'm just gonna move my focus point around. Perfect, chin down a touch. Great, just watch that forward arm that it doesn't block the light. So yeah, so keep that forward or your right arm away from the, the light so we don't get a cast of shadow. Okay, perfect, yeah, great. Perfect. If you found this video series helpful, then you're absolutely going to love my new interactive video training site, Shutterslam Insiders. There's over 44 videos as of right now that are perfect for people who are feeling overwhelmed and are looking for the fastest and easiest way to improve their photography and retouching in the shortest time possible. The training courses cover everything from lighting headshots, shooting full body fashion, mixing ambient light and studio strobes on location, beauty retouching, Photoshop 101, and portrait retouching, and a whole lot more. You can also post your own work and get feedback from myself and other members of the community. If you're excited about taking your photography and retouching to the next level, then keep a close eye on your email inbox. A few days from now, I'm going to release more details about how you can access Shutterslam Insiders. Now, I don't want to put any pressure on you, but I'm only opening the doors to Shutterslam Insiders for a limited time, and then I'm closing them. So make sure you watch your email closely for your opportunity to access Shutterslam Insiders. I'll see you in video four.